Uh, next question comes from Ottawa, and uh, let's hear it now. Go ahead, sir. Hi, I'm Manuel Costa in Ottawa. Uh, some 70 municipalities in uh, Canada, like Montreal, Vancouver, Toronto, and the entire province of Quebec, have banned the urban use of pesticides for health reasons. I am disappointed that the health ministers at the federal and provincial level are refusing to participate, leaving uh, every single municipality to address this issue with the same arguments uh, all over. Now, if you are elected, and as it was done with the smoking issue, will you work to have Health Canada clearly and honestly state the dangers associated with use of pesticides, resolve this issue for all of us, and cut health costs in doing so? Manuel, thank you so much for your question. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Hudson Quebec has led the way across Canada for banning the use of cosmetic pesticides. And these are known, proven cancer-causing agents. And I just actually was meeting with, uh, bumped into somebody today who uh, has a chemical sensitivity that literally uh, um, she found she was using uh, pesticides on her lawn. And it was when she stopped using them that she was able to breathe more easily in her own home. And we have to begin to see the links of what we do personally affecting the health of our communities and the health of our children and the health of uh, our environment. And so, yes, uh, the Green Party is absolutely opposed to the cosmetic use of pesticides. Now, is this an issue because it's caught up in the, in the different levels of government? It's a municipality issue uh, now in terms of... Uh, well, Hudson, Hudson banned the use of pesticides, and the chemical companies, the weed companies, the lawn companies, took them to court to say, you don't have the right to do it. And it went all the way to the Supreme Court, and Hudson won. <laughs> okay, and so now uh, villages or communities all throughout Canada are saying, Halifax and Toronto and, and all throughout Canada are saying, we don't want the spraying of cosmetic pesticides, and our parks and rec department won't use them anymore. Okay, I, I get that, but I, I think part of the question from Ottawa is how do you enforce this on a national basis? Can you, should the federal well, government make the, somehow have the authority to make that kind of a ruling? We, we believe, Manuel, that the Charter, and rights of, Charter of Rights and Freedoms must now include the right to clean air, to uncontaminated water, and uncontaminated soil, because every Canadian should have a right to those things. And we should enshrine that in the Charter of Rights. Because then Canadians, when their rights were being violated, as they are right now, could use our court system to force the federal government, when it remains inactive, when it remains silent on these important issues, force them to address them. All right.